and welcome back to the show. Today, we have been talking with Jay Davidson, president of Federal Retirement Strategies of Little Rock, Arkansas, but actually the whole the whole United States, right? Yes, that's Now, uh, we've been talking about, uh, well, the challenges facing retirees that uh, come through the federal service. Um, we've talked about the differences, but now we're going to talk about the man behind the business, Jay Davidson. I've got some questions here. We want to get to know you on a more personal level. Okay. Um, so the question I have for you, first and foremost, right off the bat, tell me about one event that really shaped you, that made you who you are today. There's been many, because um, I'm nearly 50, but um, I would say one of them, uh, definitely when I was 15, I had a series of strokes. Really? And so, um, yeah, they, they told me that I wasn't going to live. I, it was a football injury, mm -hmm. and they told me that I wasn't going to live, and then I had to learn to walk and talk again. And, and uh, so that, that kind of changes you. To this day, I actually don't have left peripheral vision. And so um, that has its unique challenges. But sure. um, I've overcome, and I, I play tennis and, and still am pretty active and, and uh, makes you really appreciative. Oh, I bet. I, it would definitely would change your perspective on, uh, on life. It does. Yeah. It does. What would be one fad that uh, you wish would come back? I'm from Arkansas. Boot cut jeans. Boot cut I, I jeans. I, I can't get into the skinny jeans. I'm sorry. I just, I just can't do it. Wait, wait. You mean you, you, you can't like I can't get on board them, them, or you just can't I, I get them? I can't. I can't. <laughs> a little bit of both. All right. So Jay, let me ask you one here. Uh, if you could enact a law that everybody had to follow, what would it be? Tell the truth. I definitely think people should just tell the truth. If you make a mistake or something like that, just own up to it. So that would be an easy one. That would be, you know what? I wish you would have enacted that yesterday because I watched a political debate last night. That would have been fascinating. Well, you went there, but I will definitely <laughs> agree with that. All right, so tell me about um, a risk worth taking. What would be a risk that you would consider worth taking? As a small business owner, I would encourage people to, to go out on their own if they have an opportunity, if they find something that they're passionate about. I used to run an Edward Jones office and I was a VP at a bank uh, in investments and, and I went out on my own in about 2006 and um, it's scary. Yeah, I bet. It is, but if you're passionate about it and you enjoy it, then um, you know, you, you kind of work for yourself. So that's definitely a risk, but I think it's worth taking. Sure. The good news is you're the boss, and the bad news is you're the boss. Absolutely. Yeah. Tell me about a special place that you grew up. Any special places? An hour outside of Little Rock is Hot Springs. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And we have lakes there. And so I grew up on the lake. I've been water skiing since I was five years old. My parents still live there, and it just holds a very special place for me. One day, that's where I'd like to retire. Sounds nice. Um, who inspires you? I try to find inspiration in, um, in many people and um, because I think you, you want to look for the good in people, but a couple people that stand out to me, uh, my dad, my dad has Parkinson's. He's had it for about 20 years. It's mm -hmm. a very advanced stage. So to see his attitude in dealing with such a, um, debilitating disease, yeah. uh, then my mom to watch her care for him. Um, the special grace is, there. It is. And then, my, and then my wife is an APN, so to see her care for patients and everything, she's, um, you know, anybody that can show compassion is going to inspire me. What is it, wh wh where's a situation where it makes sense to pay more to get the best? I'm a cheapskate, so um, frugal, frugal, the word frugal, that, that, frugal. Yeah, we'll edit that out, frugal. right? Um, but I think sometimes when you're dealing with professionals, where, where, whether it's uh, sometimes attorneys or mm -hmm. tax advice or financial professionals, I think you you get what you pay for. I mean, I know you can go to TurboTax, but I like to feel that my my tax person finds other things. So um, I think professional services. I think that's a good point. Um, Tell me something that a ton of people are obsessed with that you just don't get. Okay, this is not going to be popular, but it would be it would be golf. 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 I, I never got it. I played football and basketball growing up, and and now play tennis. It's um, it's a little 
slow for me. Uh, having said that, I'm very proud that my oldest stepson is 26 and he is actually the number one golfer in the state of Arkansas as far as the amateurs go. So um, I can appreciate the talent, but no, I don't get it. There you go. Well, I'll tell you what, since you don't golf, what's a relaxing, what's the most relaxing place you've ever been? The most relaxing place I've probably ever been was actually Alaska. Alaska. Uh, it, yeah, we went there on a mission trip and it was just gorgeous. I mean, you, you're sitting there taking pictures of the, the snow and the mountains and you're looking at the picture and then looking at that and there's just nothing to just to um, compare to. It's wow. just amazing. That and of course the lake. And the lake. All right, well I have one last question for you. That, for you. If you could convince everyone in the world to do one thing, what would it be? Being born and bred in Arkansas my entire life, um, I've taken uh, six or seven mission trips, and I, uh, I think everybody should have to go, if I could convince them, would, would, would go to a third world country, and um, I think that would help them have appreciation for what they have here. I had Dennis one time, a, a, a gentleman out in the Dominican Republic, out in the village, and he said, hold on, you're so rich, you drink, I'm sorry, you're so rich, you bathe in your drinking water? And I just, you know, I teared up. I mean, we, we have so many things that we take for granted, and if everybody did that, I, I think they'd be a little bit more appreciative and it'd be make it a nicer world, hopefully. I think so. Well, Jay, I hate to say this, it is always a pleasure to have you on the show, but we are at the end of our time. So for those of you that are out there, I want you to remember that you can reach out to Jay Davidson. You can reach out to him nationally because you work across the country with federal employees. Uh, we've got your contact information up there, so if you've got a question, uh, just pick it up. But don't forget, you can watch full Right on the Money episodes on our official YouTube channel or at rightonthemoneyshow.com where you can get up-to-date financial news and insights from the top insurance and financial professionals in your area. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Okay, great to have you here. Thank you, Dennis. I